Alright guys, a couple of videos ago we put together this Cross RC trailer. A nice thing to build. Now it's time for paint. I went over it with some grey primer with plenty of time to sit and dry. Now, I was going to paint it in camouflage green, but when I went to my local Halfords, a UK overpriced car accessories store, they only had matte black, brown or khaki. So, after some thought, I figured the khaki is a bit like desert camo, so I went with that. Close enough. So, welcome to my back garden, and the can of paint in all its springtime glory. The can has been left in the sun for a while to warm up. Uh, if it's particularly hot where you are, make sure you don't forget it, as the can can go pop if it gets really hot. Give it a good shake, and off we go. Keep a good distance between the can and the trailer. Keep the can moving and keep the paint flowing while it's pointing at the trailer. If you go too slow you'll see the paint pull and ultimately make runs. So lots of thin coats are the way to go. Keep building them up, leaving it 15 or 20 minutes between. Same goes for the light cover. I've just stuck it to a bit of foam so we've got something to get hold of. Back indoors now and the next day. Here we have a more or less complete trailer. I painted the A-frame in a satin black to continue the black accents from the tyres and suspension. That, and it was the only other colour I had in the garage. Well, that or bright blue. On the back, I've drilled some holes and popped in some more LEDs. Two for the indicators, and the other is for reverse. They're not wired up yet, but they're ready. I've tweaked the moving part of the suspension too. There's now a brass tube insert into the plastic frame rails to keep the shackle from wearing the plastic down. And to stop the shackle pinching, I've replaced a shoulder screw with a long M3 and more brass tube to get the correct width. The whole lot moves quite nicely now. Just need to tidy up the excess thread. Now for the fun part, the hitch. The eyelet that comes with the trailer looks pretty cool, but it's not very practical. First, it's aluminium, so a steel screw or pin will wear through it in no time, so you need to use a nylon screw. With an M5 thread, uh, it fits neatly into the hole. The trailer will pivot in the horizontal axis nicely, but there's no movement in the vertical. So, we can try an M4 screw. Far more vertical travel. How about an M3? There we go. Plenty of angle. But now the trailer will wobble about all over the place. Hmm... So, I had a look around at full-size, chunky off-road trailer hitches and started to sketch out something that might work. I got this far and realised I've seen this arrangement before. So, I had a dig in the parts bin and found this. A stub axle, universal, drive shaft and hub from an old Traxxas Stampede. It is almost exactly what we want. Full freedom of movement, pretty strong and cheap. The first job was to prep the trailer end. The drive shaft was chopped off, then the centre was drilled to 3mm. Counterboard and countersunk to fit a M3 by 16 screw. The eyelet comes off the trailer and the universal goes on in its place. The stub axle just gets clipped in. Then there's a bit of plastic tube over the stub as a spacer to take up the space the pin and the hex normally take up. I was going to use the trailer with the CCO1 Pajero, but it's almost as big as a truck, so it would look a bit daft. Next best fit was the F350 high lift. It also happens to have chassis rails that are full of holes, making it easy to mount things. So here we have the Traxxas hub mounted under the rear bumper. Under the chassis you can see the strip of 3mm aluminium that is attached to the chassis and rear brace, with two bits of 25mm angle stock to get the hub in the right place. Extremely strong, no worries about it ever giving way. Hooking up the trailer is easy enough, you just pop the stub through the bearings and pop on an M4 nut. Some sort of clip might be better, certainly quicker, might be able to use a body clip through the hole for the drive pin. Anyway, the trailer has a full range of motion, if anything maybe too much, as I'm sure I read somewhere that there should be stops to stop the trailer rotating too much. But that's the fun of testing, see where the problems are. And speaking of testing, here we are outside. The trailer is way too light at the moment. At any sort of speed, it spends most of its time airborne. So we need to think of what we might want to put in it. Logs, planks, uh, rubble. Any ideas are always welcome. The trailer followed along nicely, and despite its light weight, it's fairly stable. It only tried to roll off on its own once. 
and some sort of widget to stop it rolling beyond 40 degrees or so would have stopped that. I think a bit more weight would have helped that too. Overall though, I like it. If you like a challenge, trying to safely get the trailer through obstacles really adds a lot. Brilliant fun. Right, that time again. If you like the video, please hit the like button. If you want to know when we upload, you can always subscribe and we'll end up in your subscription feed. Thanks for watching. Bye. <laughs>